Welcome back dudes. In this episode I'm going to show you how to fix the delamination that I have going on on the roof of our chalet A-frame camper. I noticed this when I bought it but I didn't realize how bad it was. I was just excited to see one. Pretty much don't see these in the Midwest very often because they're all made on the West Coast. So when one popped up that we could afford, I got one despite some of its glaring problems. It was kind of impulsive. Probably should have not bought this one and gotten a different one. But it does have some nice features. Anyway, let's get to the actual repair. So you can see the skin on pretty much the entire panel uh, has come loose from the core. And there's a right way to fix it, and then there's the quick way to fix it, which is what I'm going to try. It's basically going to involve drilling holes into the roof panel itself and injecting epoxy in between the skin and the core. I don't know how well it's going to work, and honestly I'm a little hesitant to drill holes in this, but it's getting so bad and we're about to tow it halfway across the country, so I think the air, from what I read, hitting this might cause it to separate even more. So I want to do that and let this cure before we head out. So, what you're going to need for this project, you're going to need some masking tape. You need a drill with a drill bit. You're going to need some big-ass syringes. I would suggest getting these on Amazon. I'll have a link for everything down below. Uh, some foil tape, some rubber gloves, some epoxy. And this epoxy, this is actually a sponsored project by Better Boat. They've provided me with a bunch of epoxy for some of my boat projects, and I'm using it for this instead right now. Um, and then we got a mixing cup, and then a whole bunch of boards to flatten everything out, and then we're going to throw anything I can find on it that weighs something. So I've never done this before. Let's see how it works. So I think we're going to start in the center, and then work our way this way, and then do that side. I don't want to put my weight in the center of this panel, because it is not supported, and... Given the delamination here, I'm not sure how strong it is, but uh, it does seem pretty strong from the inside. I just don't want to take my chances. So I think we're going to drill a hole here, here, and here. Remember when I said maybe we shouldn't do that before our trip? Yep, so we're leaving tomorrow and um, I this is, I don't know, it's been a day or two. We've been trying to let the epoxy cure. We're going to pull everything off and see how well it worked, but it was a total disaster. I got epoxy everywhere and what I really don't understand is like the skin of the roof is so much bigger that even though we glued down the middle, now there's bubbles other places and it's just, it's like the skin's too big. It's like a person that gets like liposuction but doesn't get the skin removal and they got the wings. Oh boy. I don't know. It's weird. So let's let's see what it looks like. I'll go back to time lapse and we'll take it off and then we'll look at it. All right. Well, I mean, it's it's definitely flatter. We wanted to do this before we towed it because I read of a horror story where it was loose like this and someone towed it and it just kept flapping and getting worse and worse and worse and it flew off. <laughs> Which I didn't want, <laughs> want to do. Um, it's still lumpy, you know, on the sides where we didn't do it, but at least the center is glued down now. <sighs> no camper lasts forever. We're just trying to get more use out of it. I siliconed the holes after shaving them with a razor blade and then um, put some Gorilla tape, like flex seal over the top. So I don't think those holes are gonna leak, but yeah, I think we could stand to do it more, but what I'm concerned about is if we were to try to get these areas, I think it might actually buckle um, because it's like the skin, again, is, is too big for the frame. I really don't understand that because fiberglass, I mean, everything expands and contracts at different rates, but it just seems too big. So, Probably just flexed a little. Yeah, I don't know. But for now, this is our fix. Uh, this definitely works on an A-liner. I, I can guarantee you this is not going to leak. I cannot guarantee you how long this will last. 
in terms of the adhesion, but it's pretty nice epoxy. Again, we used Better Boat epoxy, and it's a two-part epoxy that dries crystal clear, so if you want to use it for bar tops or anything, you can do that too. All right, thanks for watching. Leave a comment and a like if you learned anything. Cheers, dudes. Till next time. Fair enough.